Oh, they're annoying. They can be costly. More and more, they're actually criminal. We're talking about robocalls. You should know by now stopping them from coming is a real challenge. Technology is there, but the scammers and telemarketers seem to always be a step ahead. So are we stuck with them? Well, here at THV 11, we say no. Investigators from across the country at our sister station, Tegna stations, including our own Roly Hoyt, are all working together to figure out how to stop them. We start that process tonight by showing you the stakes involved. How it started? People are sick and tired of their phones ringing off the hook when it's nothing more than a scam artist calling, and I am determined to stop these calls. How it's going? The technology is there. Uh, we have to allow these phone companies and require these phone companies to stop those robocalls. Just short of two years after Arkansas Attorney General Leslie Rutledge pushed through an anti-robocall law, she thinks she's found a culprit. Our phone providers need to be, uh, they hold the keys to the kingdom on this. And so we need our large phone providers to be the ones to say, we are going to stop this. Just about anybody with a phone probably has a similar response. Good luck with that. We're at least a year and a half into a regime that tried to get tough on robocalls, but they keep on coming. And the reasons we hate them haven't changed. When there is a company that only has one person, it's really hard for me to answer the phone while trying to maintain a relationship with the person that I'm working with. David Stacy's one-man business is tax prep. It's getting busy right now. He can't afford to ignore calls from weird area codes, but he has a medical reason that makes robocalls even worse. I have um, an acoustic neuroma and that affects my memory. So whenever I get interrupted in the middle of in the middle of trying to do something, it takes me five to 15 minutes to get back to where I was. That's a benign brain tumor Stacy is dealing with, but we all are still highly bothered by robocalls. Little Rock-based First Orion says Americans fell victim to mobile phone scams 270% more often last year. The tougher laws kicked in back in 2019, right when the Little Rock metro area got rung up almost 330 million times. But last year, we ended up getting more calls than in 2018. And the U-Mail Robocall Index says we're already at 52 million calls this year, on pace for 312 million. While we've made progress in Arkansas by passing legislation to require phone companies to file with the Public Service Commission, the best way to stop robocalls is going to be for the FCC, the Federal Communication Commission, to require our phone providers to stop those calls. Not only the FCC, but the FTC, the Federal Trade Commission. Tegna investigators have been speaking with officials from both the Trump and Biden administrations. A report on solutions is coming soon, but here's a preview of the challenges. Remember those reports that Rutledge mentioned? It's true. The phone companies have to file an outline with the State Public Service Commission on what they're doing to try and stop the robocalls. We looked them up. You practically need a secret code in order to get to the public file. The big carriers all filed on time. Most mention the fact that they charge money for robust call blocking. And then there are some, like the company behind T-Mobile, that says they're not revealing everything publicly. The reason? Trade secrets. I have blocked so many numbers that my phone won't let me block anymore. It's clear getting the phone giants to change will take more than state-level laws. Though Rutledge still has an appeal she hopes their marketing departments hear. I have told so many uh, phone providers, if you will stop unsolicited robocalls uh, that change their caller ID, I can assure you that Arkansans will flock to your service. For 11 News Investigates, I'm Roly Hoyt. And as we said, this is the start of our effort to stop robocalls. In the weeks to come, we'll report on where these calls come from, the victims, and most importantly, solutions. We're putting links to some of the tools we're using in the digital version of this story. Just head to THV11.com and click on the 11 News Investigates tab.